The kids at hardest when the pandemic closed their schools are also among the most likely to start off the year at districts without enough teachers and other staff. Many schools have all the teachers they need, data shows, despite a national uproar over a teaching shortage. The data suggests that districts with large numbers of black, brown or poor students, the students who fell furthest behind in math and reading during remote schooling, could bear the brunt of the teaching vacancies. Disadvantaged students are the most likely to enter classrooms over the next few weeks with new teachers, substitutes, teachers with the least amount of training, and a shrinking number of the most experienced teachers, based on a USA Today analysis of available data and interviews with experts and Schools serving high concentrations of kids of color and kids from low-income families have more anticipated vacancies on average, survey data from the National Center for Education Statistics shows. More than 6 in 10 high-poverty elementary schools said they will be short teachers this school year, compared with 4 in 10 low-poverty ones, according to the federal survey data. And compared with schools where more than 75% of students are white, schools where more than 75% of students are non-white were also roughly twice as likely to report expected vacancies in English slash language arts, math and biology slash life science teachers. Read more, an in-depth look at teacher shortage data the shortages also appear to be worse in urban schools, as of late August. Districts in the Baltimore, Chicago and St. Louis areas, for example, were short hundreds of teachers, teacher aides and bus drivers. A concrete picture of exactly how many teachers are needed nationwide is elusive, although a combination of factors including pandemic exhaustion and a noxious political climate have led some teachers to leave their jobs. The vacancies alone are an issue, and then there are the ripple effects. From the rush to hire inexperienced teachers to the stress those vacancies place on staff who are picking up the slack. That means it's those populations of students whose learning is disproportionately impacted, said Tara. Keeney noted that many of the greatest shortages predated the first year of distance learning and only worsened and during the pandemic. Some teachers leaving the field now said they simply couldn't take it anymore.